WZZN 13 News, on your side. Plus one West, West Michigan couple standing the test of time. I'll introduce you and share their tips for a successful marriage. Welcome back at 616. You might know the song, Grow Old With Me, The Best Is Yet To Be. For one West Michigan couple, those lyrics ring very true. Les and Jerry Shoemaker just celebrated their 75th Valentine's Day as a married couple, and their love for each other is nothing short of inspiring. It was taken in Tucson, Arizona, where we wintered for 30 years. Images. And it looks somewhat similar. Of a lifetime of memories. Yeah, these are all pictures of our children and grandchildren. A legacy. That's me right there. Yeah. 75 years. Yeah, mostly. And counting. It is amazing. I never expected to live this long. <laughs> when, when it turned to be 2000, I thought, boy, if I reached 2000, I was, now it's 2018, and we're still here, praise the Lord. Jerry and Les Shoemaker are making it work better than most. She knows the reason why. Marry somebody like Les, <laughs> yeah, but because I, he's so thoughtful and, and kind and I, I treat, optimistic. <laughs> I, I treat her as if she's royalty. I mean, everything, uh, I, uh, it's not me, me, I, I, it's her, her, her. The two married in 1944, just two months before Les was drafted. They recall the sweet goodbye at Fort Custer. There was this field just full of soldiers. Thousands all, of them. All waiting to uh, go on waiting the train. Waiting to, with their duffel bags, waiting to be shipped out. And a sergeant came up and he said, are you looking for someone? And I said, yes, I was looking for my husband. He said, well, they've been leaving all day, but we'll see. So he kept walking from one group to another, calling out his name. And finally, way toward the end, <laughs> Les raised his hand here. We hugged and kissed each other and about a thousand uh, GIs, <laughs> claps. The decades together also led to some difficult times. We lost our third baby. He was two, two days old. And because it was only two days, I was in the hospital, so he had to take care of the funeral and everything, which was very hard for him. But that brought us closer together, too. Shared passions for family, travel, and photography kept their connection strong. This is from the top of um, Haleakala. <laughs> We've been in every state in the country. We I love have to travel. Hawaii, to Europe two or three times. They've also leaned on their steadfast faith. We love the Lord so much and rely on His guidance and direction that yes. it's, it's number one for us. I've seen so many miracles in my life. I, I, I can think of a 10 or 12 of them. She's 95. He's 96. 75 together. Anyways. Some say that's also a miracle. The more experiences you go through together, the closer it brings you to each other. So I love sweet. them. I love oh them. Oh my gosh. Well, the Shoemakers live at Samaritan Senior Living in Grand Rapids and both grew up right here in West Michigan. Lauren, they were just a delight. We actually shot this story on Valentine's yeah. Day. I couldn't think of a better way to spend the day. I was tearing up while interviewing them. They were just such a joy. Yeah, to go through those ups and downs mm -hmm. in life. I love that they they spent their winters, 30 years in Arizona <laughs> together. I was like, wow, 30 years. They've, you know, been able to experience that you know, great part of life. Yeah, absolutely. Their son actually teaches at the University of Arizona, so that's what brought them there. I love and it. just incredible story together. I love it.